Hi, I'm Dave. I'm the rector of St Nick's Stevenage and St Mary's Gravely. I want to begin by reading some verses from 2 Peter chapter 1. From verse 16, Peter writes, We did not follow cleverly invented stories when we told you about the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honour and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him, from the majestic glory saying, this is my son whom I love, with him I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice which came from heaven when we were with him on the sacred mountain. And we have the word of the prophets made more certain. And you will do well to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Above all, Peter writes, you must understand that no prophet of prophecy of scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation. For prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. In the days leading up to Jesus' ascension, he met with his disciples and taught them about the kingdom of heaven. That's what Acts chapter 1 tells us. He unpacked the Old Testament and pointed them to who he was and his mission and where that meant they had to go now. Peter writes here that they had those eyewitness accounts of the life of Jesus. They had the Old Testament prophets writing down, pointing forward to Jesus. We're even in a more spectacular place, aren't we? Because we have the New Testament records of the apostles' uh, time with the Lord helping us to understand who Jesus was and what he came to do and what it means for us now. Those words, just like the Old Testament, were written down by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. As we wait for the celebration of Pentecost, let's be praying that we might be people who take note of the word given to us in the Bible, that we might be reading it, believing it, and living it out, that the same spirit that inspired it to be written would empower us to live it out for the glory of God. Let me lead us in a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit inspiring your prophets of old from the Old Testament and the apostles of the New Testament to write down the truth for us in this book. We thank you for those who have given their lives that we might have it in English. And we thank you for the privilege of hearing it and having it in our homes. Lord, would the same spirit that inspired it to be written bring it alive to us as we read, that we might know the truth and live it out for your glory. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. May God bless you.